What will climate change mean for the Canadian boreal shield? That's an important question. Researchers at the Experimental Lakes area in northwestern Ontario, Canada, are trying to answer. Behind me is Lake 626, one of 58 research lakes in this beautiful and remote area of northwestern Ontario. In 2010, researchers reduced water flows into this lake to mimic conditions that might be seen in the future. The study was meant to answer questions such as, what might climate change mean for species like lake trout? And what might it mean for economic activities that depend on these waters? Brian Shooter is a scientist with the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources an adjunct professor at the University of Toronto who studies climate change and fish communities. He says the long history of research and data collection at the ELA makes it an ideal place for his research. You want to have kind of a reliable idea of what the consequences of climate change are for aquatic systems and for fish particularly. You have to really understand the past and that's why it's such a great place to go. ELA research has looked specifically at how cold water fish species might fare in a warming climate. The long-term data from the ELA suggests that a number of factors, including decreased rainfall, changes in water temperatures, and increased water transparency may mean less habitat for species such as lake trout. We rely on many such fish species as food sources. As the climate changes, the types of fish in our waterways could change as well. Effects of climate change on water have other implications for society. For example, we often rely on water from lakes and rivers for electricity generation and for industrial processing. Possible decreases in water availability could negatively affect these activities. Work at the ELA is helping us to better understand how lakes will behave in the future and helping us plan for climate change adaptation. The physical and biological character of those lakes will change for sure, and people will have to deal with those changes and having some sense of, of the character of the, what's coming will at least help people to, to uh, adapt to, to the change. The 44 years of continuous data have also been important inputs into climate change models. Such models help us to understand the complex changes going on in our lakes and help us plan for how we can adapt to them. ELA datasets are crucial for understanding long-term changes in lakes in response to climate change impacts, some of which we haven't even imagined yet. To learn more or to donate, visit our website at iisd.org ELA.